Hey, family, you know, one of the things that I'm very conscious of is that the holidays man, are really a beautiful time, right? It really can be a beautiful time. But for some, they actually create more challenges. I mean, consider this as a backdrop. In 2021, more than 4 in 10, 42% of students felt persistently sad or hopeless. Persistently sad or hopeless. And nearly one-third, 29%, experienced poor mental health. Further in 2021, more than one in five, so 22% of students seriously considered attempting suicide, and one in 10, 10% attempted suicide. Those are gut-wrenching numbers, okay? i re recap real quick. 42% of students felt persistently sad or hopeless. 29% experienced poor mental health. 22% seriously considered attempting suicide, and 10% attempted suicide. 10% actually attempted suicide. And so when you think about seasons and things of the years and where people are at and think of that sad and hopelessness, sometimes while many of us are celebrating the holidays, some people, for them, it is a valley, okay? And so I just bring that up as, as us who want to be the arms of Jesus extended. Holidays are interesting time because they give us the opportunity to help. And how can we help? I'm so glad you asked. We can serve. <laughs> and and someone had, had written a list of ideas that I'm shamelessly stealing from and going to share because I think that's what we do when we ideate. We we all share and continue to build on things. And so here's a list of ideas I saw that I thought were brilliant. Okay, one, this is someone who is alone during the holidays or set up a visit, uh, video chat. Just visit someone. Just be consciously looking for someone you can visit and share love with. Two, take someone out to lunch. Not too Not too big of a thing. Three, surprise a family you know by dropping off dinner. Just think if they, you know, this family who's probably going through a gut-wrenching time right now, they may not be able to get up the will to get up and, and cook dinner and, you know, do all the things it takes, but you can drop off dinner. Four, if someone asks you for a favor, go above and beyond. Ooh, someone asks you for a favor, go above and beyond. Five, I call it Rook. Random acts of kindness. Go ahead and do some. Let someone go before you in line at the grocery store. As you pull into the gas station, looks like you, you're going to fight to get to that spot. Let, let the other person go. Give them, a, give them a wave and say, oh, no, you go ahead. It's cool. Six, volunteer to babysit for a single mom or dad so they can do something they enjoy. Assuming there are no baby kids around. <laughs> Some of you will get that who are a little older. <laughs> you know, yes, absolutely. Volunteer to babysit for a single mom and dad so they can do something they enjoy. Seven, bake Christmas cookies for your neighbor. If you've got the skill at the oven, go ahead and bake some cookies for your neighbor. Eighth, listen to a friend who needs to talk. Come on, somebody. Listen to a friend who needs to talk. Listen, again, let's help some folks through the holidays that may be in the valley through serving, all right?